First in the box here, we have a one for one in 16 days with a $5 donation out of Miami, Florida. We have Johnny Growth. Johnny Growth looking quite nice with blue ink on this 1952 Tops reprint. So we have John Thomas Growth. Johnny, born July 23rd, 1926 in Chicago, Illinois. He is 94 years young. Mr. Growth was a right-handed bat and throwing slick field and center field that played parts of 15 seasons in the majors with the Detroit Tigers, St. Louis Browns, Chicago White Sox, Washington Centers, and Kansas City Athletics. Growth signed with the Tigers in 1946 after graduating from the Latin School of Chicago and World War II Severs in the United States Navy, like many, many of your generation who served. Thank you very much for your service. Mr. Growth. He was lauded by the Tigers as a next DiMaggio when he arrived in the Major League scene in the late 40s. From 46 to 48, most of his time in the minors with late seasons appearances. He hit 319 for Class A Williamsport Grays in the Eastern League in 47. He was called up in late September in 47. He made his he had his first Major League hit came on. Monday, September 15th, 1947, versus the Washington Centers at Griffith Stadium, our nation's capital. Started in left field for the, the 2 p.m. game, Growth hit a clean, hit cleanup ahead of future Hall of Famer third baseman George Kell. With the Tigers ahead 3-2 going into the top of the seventh, right-handed bat and Growth led off the inning with a single to right off of Centers left-handed starting pitcher Mickey Hefner. After moving to second, a single by George Kell, right-hander center fielder Hoot Evers drove growth in for an RBI single to left. The Tigers won the contest 7-2. In 48, growth proceeded to tear up the International League with the AAA Buffalo Bisons. He led the league in hits, runs, doubles, triples, and total bases while hitting for a lead second 340 batting average with 40 home runs. It was deemed the International League Rookie of the Year. With Detroit in September, he collected eight hits and 17 at-bats, including his first home run, a two-run shot off of right-handed starting pitcher Fred Sanford of the St. Louis Browns on September 28th. Plans call for growth to start the season at center field for Detroit in 1949. Expectations were high, and growth was routinely compared to the greats of the games without even having 50 plate appearances under his belt in the majors. Growth started the 1949 season, the Detroit Tigers starting center fielder. He started off hot. An open day, he hit two home runs against the White Sox. The next day, he added another. By the end of April, he was hitting 449. He was making the national media. Life magazine called him a potential Joe DiMaggio and Tris Speaker rolled into one. The Sport of News contained an article on Growth titled, Growth, Detroit's Biggest Rave Since Cobb. However, I will spare you all the details here for the sake of time, but you may have guessed, Mr. Grote did not become the next Joe DiMaggio. He did have two fine first seasons in the majors, full seasons. In that first season, he hit 243 with 11 home runs and 73 IBIs. And in 1950, he hit 306 with 12 home runs and 85 RBIs. But he was never able to regain those numbers. In 1951, he did hit 299, but his power tailed off considerably, hitting only three home runs and 465 plate appearances. Like his first major league at bat, where he got a single to right, growth became more of a single hitter than a power hitter. Years later, his former teammate George Cal speculated that it was perhaps. Gross lack of desire to be in the limelight and a natural shyness to preserve prevented him from not taking take off into the limelight of an elite hitter. My opinion, comparing any player to the great like Di, greats like DiMaggio, Speaker Cobb is entirely unfair and can, can shroud our ability to appreciate a player for what he has to offer. Subject to a massive publicity, build up growth would have had it to perform at superhuman level to meet expectations. 
It's like trying to compare postseason standout Randy Rosarino to Mike Trout. It just does not compute at that this point in his game. Take away the hype that was put on growth, and what remains is a record of a solid Major League outfielder. Grotha was an exceptional fielder in 1,115 career games in the outfield. Most of center field, he only committed 36 errors for a 987 fielding percentage, which at the time ranked him on the best in the game. And his hit and numbers were respectable as well. His career bat average was 279. He hit 60 career home runs at 486 career RBIs, scored 480 runs, and 3,808 at-bats. So... I appreciate this, uh, Mr. Growth, and appreciate you taking the time to sign this card for me. And like all, like all you, you, you fellas who served back in the day, I thank you for your service. 